Sicilian Defense, Open, Accelerated Dragon, Murici Bind Formation, 5, NF66.NC3D6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed Black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. It was a well-fought middle game that White got the better of. White exploited Black's mistakes in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. The c pawn in the Sicilian defense controls the d4 square. Nf3 moves the knight toward the center in anticipation of a pawn push on d4, where it will be ready to retake the piece if black captures on d4. The dark squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto onto the long diagonal. C4 gains space and prepares to develop the queen's knight behind the c-pawn. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. And c3 controls the d5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and protects the e4 pawn. D6 allows the light squared bishop to develop and controls the E5 and C5 squares. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. By positioning the bishop on a potent diagonal, this fianchettos the bishop. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. This threatens to reveal an attack on a queen. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. Games master. It is the final book action. A wise decision. It is quite good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. It is ideal. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This reveals an assault and puts a pawn in danger. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. By doing this, a bishop may be tied to the king. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also getting the king to safety. By castling to the opposite side of the board as the opponent, the game will tend to be more double-edged. This prevents the opponent from being able to pin a bishop to the king. It is good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. This disregards an improved method of recovering a component. It is incorrect. This poses a pawn pinning threat. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. A powerful play. It is quite good. This activates a piece and simultaneously wins time by attacking an opposing rook. It is best. By pinning a pawn, this increases pressure. That's good. This protects the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. By assaulting the opposing queen, this activates a piece while also buying time. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Backs off. It is ideal. The queen is therefore moved to safety. It is quite good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This results in a pawn being lost. This enables the adversary to make a pawn attack known. It is incorrect. This exposes a pawn attack. It is ideal. 
This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Backs off. White is superior at this point in the end game. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. That is a logical response. It is quite good. It's alright. That's good. Very precise. It is best. That's a decent move. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. This poses the risk of producing a passed pawn. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This wastes a chance to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. It was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. White exploited black's mistakes in the end game. 